Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wynette and you are tuned into Cooking with Wyn. Into this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make big loaded potatoes. So for my potatoes today, I'll be using bacon, potatoes, green onion, but you can also use chives, butter, cheddar cheese, but you can also use mozzarella cheese, olive oil, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, black pepper, and sour cream. So guys, these are the ingredients I'll be using to make my big loaded potatoes. If you wanna learn how to make this, stay tuned and keep watching. Okay guys, so first thing, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my potatoes. So once you're done washing your potato, you wanna get a fork or you can get a knife. You just wanna pork the potato all around. Or you just wanna juke the potato all around it, okay? So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna get my foil ready. So two things, you can either line the sheet pan with a foil and place the potatoes in the sheet pan and bake it like that, or you can bake each potato separately in a foil, okay? So something like this. All right, so once you have the potatoes in a foil like this, you wanna dress with some olive oil on them. And I'll be adding some salt to the potatoes. You want to wrap a potato with the oil and the salt. And once you're done coating your potatoes with the oil and the salt, you can go ahead and wrap it in the foil. And you can just add into the sheet pan. So like I said earlier, you can add a foil to the sheet pan and just lay your potatoes like this. Or you can wrap your potatoes individually like the way I did it, okay? So once you're done, you want to throw this in the oven. Make sure your oven is already on 350 degrees very height. So I'm going to be throwing this in the oven and bake this for an hour, 15 to 30 minutes or until my potatoes is nicely done and soft, okay? So the next thing you want to do is get your bacon ready. You can cut your bacon separately or you can lay it over each other like this. You can leave your bacon whole and put on a sheet pan and cook in the oven. You can leave your bacon whole and cook in the frying pan or you can cut it into pieces like what I'm doing and cook in the frying pan. So whichever one you want to do is fine, but um, the only thing is you just have to either cut them or like crunch it with your hands just to break them into pieces. Now that I'm done cutting this, I'm going to move over to the stove and I'll be cooking this in my frying pan. After making this, you're not going to need it anytime soon. It's going to be like your last last. So I'll just go ahead and finish cooking the bacon off camera and um, once it's done, I'll show you guys the next step. But basically that's what you wanna do, like keep moving around till your bacon is ready. And once your bacon is ready, you can set it aside. All right guys, so my potatoes is ready. I just took it out of the oven. So I'm just gonna open the foil. So you can tell your potato is ready by pressing your finger into it. It's hot, so be careful. Or you can use a fork. Once you do the fork like this, it goes into the um, potatoes. That means your potatoes is ready. I'm gonna take these from the foil. All right, so there's two ways you can open your potatoes. You can either split it in the middle. Or you can do this. Cut it open here. So once you have your potatoes open like this, you want to take the potatoes from in the skin and add it to a clean bowl. So 
so you want to be gentle because you don't want the bottom of the potatoes to open you just want the top of it to open so be careful be gentle with it so you can stay in shape okay Oh, this one messed up. So once you have your potatoes in a pan, you want to add in your butter, your sour cream, your black pepper, and your salt, okay? So I'll be adding in some country crack, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, a little bit of salt for now. I'm gonna add in my cheese. I will mix my cheese up. I will add in cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese. Add in some sour cream. Some of my bacon and some onions and once you have everything in here you just want to stir them together um, I'm gonna taste it to make sure it's well seasoned and if it's not I'll just add a little more salt so I just add a little more salt to it Now I'm going to be adding this back into the potato shell. So I'm just filling the potato shell with the potato mixture. If you ask me, I would say it's better to cut your potato open like this instead of like this. So you see what happened to mine? So you better off cutting it like this. So you can be able to put your filling in. And it'll be able to sit still. I'm gonna try to fill this. I don't think it's gonna be possible, but I'm just gonna give it a shot. And my iron stick together. All right, so I will add some cheese on the top. And I'm just adding some mozzarella cheese as well. This is just my preference to mix my cheese. You don't have to mix your cheese. My potato is all ready to go back into the oven. I'll put it back in the oven for seven to 12 minutes. Once my cheese is all melted, my potatoes will be ready, okay? All right guys, so I just took the potatoes out of the oven. But guys, do you see these other potatoes? You see how it's not respecting yourself? It just opened it more wide and then everything falling out whatever but yes guys my potatoes is ready I'm gonna add some bacon onto this the other ugly looking one by you that you know okay and then I'll add some sour cream and this is where the chives or the green onion comes in just using this for garnish just to garnish the potatoes but yes guys this is the potatoes all done and ready okay guys so this is my big loaded potatoes it's all done and ready so this is the finished product so this brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy watching this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel watch my other videos like and share with your friends and family and leave me a comment if you have any question or concern and do not forget to check out my other YouTube channel. It's called All Things Winnet. Subscribe, like, and share. Do not forget to hit that little bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. I appreciate you guys as always. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.